This is Yamaha XV1700 carb job. The three screws here, here, and at the bottom, and the clamp here on the carb. Takes the air filter off, and there'll be a hose here to the air filter. It's just a vent. Then I just take the 10 millimeter, I pull the cable, throttle cables out. I actually take them off after I get the carb out here to where it's a lot easier to work on. And then this three millimeter extended Allen driver to take the clamp off in the front of the carb, I mean to loosen it. That's one tool you must have is a three millimeter long reach hex driver. It saves you a world of hurt on a whole bu bunch of bikes. I use it all the time. Yamaha's notoriously have those on them around the, anytime you get near the carburetor. Then just pull it back. See, there's the choke cable there. Uh, what I normally do is take it loose from the other side and just pull the cable and everything out with the carb. So that's pretty much it. I just got to do that. I'm going to pull these two cables off right here. See, it's a lot easier with it off the bike. You always need to inspect these intake manifolds for a dry rot and cracking. This one looks very good. Not so much on these, but on the V-Star 1100s, they're notorious for the rubber intakes going bad. Those have two carbs. And you just replace them. You can get them on eBay for, I think, less than 20 bucks for both of them. And the little O-ring that goes between here and the head, it don't really do much. I'm telling you, I've put them on three times, brand new, everything new, and they leak. So what I do, the other insider tip from a pro that I swear by is... 3 bond 1184. You put a good liberal dose of that on them, it's not going to leak. And this job here, if you want to do it absolutely right, you can take those off and seal them. It's a very good idea, any carb job you do. If you don't think these are bad, still pull them off and seal them. Yama Bond 4 or that 3 bond 1184. And I'll be putting more video on this as I go.